Gary Kirsten is fondly remembered as one of the great opening batsmen of the modern era, but it's as a coach that he's arguably had his greatest success, leading India to a World Cup victory and South Africa to many, many test wins. But it's here in this corner of Kailicha where coach Kirsten is at his happiest. A couple of years ago, got something going here, yeah, and um, you know, I think that the intention was to try and create some number one, some facilities for them to be able to practice on. So the nets you see behind us were installed about 18 months ago, and um, cricket has has become relevant enough to to this area of Kailicha. If cricket can bring a smile to people's faces, then I'm, I'm happy. When you see what's happening here, the combination of passion for the game with a real degree of talent and an opportunity for kids to use cricket to extend themselves, become better people, uh, everything comes together so nicely here. Absolutely, and I think the, the important point you make is that there is talent out here. Um, we've got two foundation teams, an under-19 team and an under-15 team, who are starting to show um, that they can go and win games fairly consistently, um, which we're really happy about. And and, uh, the heroes here are the coaches that come out here every day and have a passion to really, um, you know, nurture this this talent and the potential um, that exists out here. How long have you been playing cricket for? Yeah, it's two years now I've been playing cricket. Yeah, and I enjoy it, and uh, it changed me in positive, in positive. Yeah. I changed my attitude and uh, I, I stopped uh, doing drugs and now I'm playing cricket. That's a good swap, that's a good swap. What, what, what do you really love about cricket? Uh, everything, especially the thing that I love is he thinks I'll best man with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a fast bowler? Yeah. I'm here partly to meet you guys, but also to have a bit of a trial as well, see if I can join the academy. Uh, if I want to come for a tryout, what do you think I need to focus on if I want to be as good as you guys? We all know that commitment and Andrew is a sacrifice. So that's all, all I can say to you. If you uh, if you want to to come and play for us, do you think I look athletic enough? No, no. Just say that. Say that. You don't look convinced, Lucas. <laughs> What's really impressed me watching here, some of these kids look really good. I'm very frightened of the fast bowlers. I don't want to bat. And the batsmen look fantastic as well. I think the credit goes to them because they want to work, they want to practice every session, they want to improve the aspect of the game. So for me as a coach, it's easy to work, to work with that group of players. Discipline-wise, I don't have any problems. I think they give 100, 120% commitment to whatever they do. Have we, have we got a couple of future South African cricketers here? I would like to think so, but slowly but surely they're getting they're getting there, they're getting better every day. So the key to my bowling has always been a deceptive lack of pace. With an enthusiastic afternoon's practice done in Kailicha, time to reward some of the better performers as former Israel under-21 cricketer Howard Khan dished out some gifts from Adidas to congratulate some very exciting young cricketers. Well, the big question, Gary, we've given out the prizes, we've seen the kids playing, we've watched your project in action, and a wonderful project it is. Do I have a future at cricket? So I was impressed with your enthusiasm. You came in, you, you ran in hard with real... Can uh, praise be fainter <laughs> in its damnation, Kirsten? I would suggest that for everything you've done, and you've done an extraordinary amount of South Africa as cricketer and coach, this might be the greatest legacy Gary Kirsten leaves behind. So, the, so, so to answer that, um, I'm hoping it's got nothing to do with me in the end. <laughs> um, I think it's really just to, for me to get something going, but most importantly that we can create a system, you know, that works where, you know, I get firmly thrown out of the equation as a 50-year-old and, and that the system continues to work really well. You know, for us, it's, it's, it's a small way of hopefully making a decent contribution to a game that's been part of my life since I was four years old.